I know as a woman that I don't have the same physical strengths. Men and women are built differently. I think whenever things are built differently, it's for a reason, right? But at the same time, the amount of uh, limits that have been put on women historically, like the fact that not too long ago we were just allowed to like start voting. Even today, like the wage gap, just all types of stuff, like women just don't have a lot of rights that are just, it should have nothing to do with what gender we are to be able to be paid equally or um, just be treated with respect, so yeah. I do believe that of course there are biological differences between men and women. And of course, there should also be legal equality. Of course, I disagree with the idea that women face systemic discrimination. You just mentioned the wage gap, which has been debunked so many times. I think some of the things that you guys are touching on, such as the court system and um, gender roles, are a subject of patriarchy. And that's no, part of that's... what women are trying to dismantle, is those traditional gender roles. Are there any feminist system. organizations that have done anything, for example, to challenge bias against men and fathers in yes, the family court system? Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you please like, give me like a list of feminist advocacy organizations Look. that have engaged in any meaningful advocacy to address those issues because there are actually none. Okay. I know that you came with your little research or whatever. I didn't come with a list of like feminist organizations, but I know actively that there are women's organizations that are trying to dismantle those inequalities. Just one, just one name, just one Again, I didn't come with a list, my dude. Th there yeah. are no such organizations. Again. Now all of a sudden she want to use hood slang like, oh my boy, you know, trying to make him sound like a nerd and not socially aware that she's just full of it. Now she want to say, oh, you came in here with your little research. And guys right there, that's what these women do. They always shut down when you hit them with straight facts. It strikes me like the way you phrase this, you almost want men to say certain things that you want them to say, as opposed to maybe actually listening to what they're saying. What certain like things would just, I want to Just hear. kind of like men being allies, men talking to other men, etc. I'm, I'm completely okay with that, but I'm not going to repeat like feminist talking points to other men. What do you bring to the table? I'm not going to answer this question. This is just something that I wouldn't answer in a date. I'm not going to answer sure, here. Fine. I'm not going to answer how many books I've read. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you expect men to bring to the table? Integrity. Clarity, consistency, a strong connection to divinity, not necessarily religion, but some kind of purpose-based lifestyle. So what is the female equivalent of that? The same. Then why wouldn't you just say that at the table when he asks you? Do you guys see how fast she was to explain what a man has to bring to the table? But she feel offended when a man asks her what do she bring to the table. And the reason why she can answer his questions because she knows she brings nothing to the table but a chest full of tattoos apparently. I think the most frustrating thing about arguing feminism with a man who's just so defiantly against it is that he's this fucking close to getting it, yeah? Women live life on easy mode. I mean, you guys get free drinks, we have to buy your dinners on dates, and you get into clubs for free. Yes, because we were not allowed financial security. Women were not allowed to get credit cards till like the 70s, and you wouldn't give us jobs that we were qualified for because you thought they were for men. So you did it to yourselves, hey -o. But men go to war, women don't go to war. Yeah, because historically you wouldn't allow them to be in the military, bud. <laughs> but now we are. You know, most suicides are men. Yes, because you told each other that any emotion other than anger was weak and gay. So now you're bottling it up inside and uh, killing yourself. So how does the consequences of your own actions taste? And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened, or times were to get hard, or war were to start, or famine, or riots, the first thing you do is find a big strong man, shit yourself, and throw the feminism out the window. Mm. Feminism goes out the fucking window the second that the snow needs shoveling, or there's a fucking broken down car, or the tire needs changing, and all that crap vanishes. It's garbage. Going to go find a man is the first thing that these women do. Whether it's their father, brother, son, cousin, nephew they will look for some type of man male figure to go defend him when it comes to dating and relationships who is typically seen as the prize the man or the Me woman bitch. yeah the woman okay so if the woman is the prize why even bother going out with a man in the first place i don't know <gasps> that's, that's a, a great question. question the woman so who's the prize in a lesbian relationship both of them 
both of yeah, them. Yeah. yeah, oh God. Both be the prize. So then why aren't they both the prize in a heterosexual relationship? Because men are yeah. I was about to say men are down here and women are up here. Yeah. Okay, so so are women equal to men or are women superior to men? For sure superior. Superior. Okay, so then why do women go around saying they want equality when they actually want superiority? It's just for the look. So people just want to be like, oh, I'm going to go look for this, but they're actually looking okay. for Okay. Why is it, do you know what the definition of chauvinism is? Chauvinism it means one sex thinking they're superior to another. Why is it when men think they're superior, we call it chauvinism, but when women think they're superior, we call it feminism? That's a great that's, question. That's a good, that's a question. Got me there. Yeah. And a lot of these women be speaking about stuff that they are not even fully aware of. Like this woman speaking about the fact that women just got the right to vote. When the truth be told, it was men who fought for women to get the right to vote. Back in the day, a lot of women fought against this right to vote. Check this out. Yeah, why men wouldn't have gave it to women if they didn't fight for it? So you believe a majority of women fought, you believe were, were suffragettes, fought for the right to vote? I don't know if it was a majority, but I know women did, and we wouldn't have it if those women hadn't stood up for it. Okay, well, because it seems like we're going through a historical timeline. Um, historically, that's actually not accurate. The majority of women... Historically, that is accurate. So women actually, uh, the majority of women didn't want the right to vote. It was I, men I told you, right to I didn't know if it was the majority, but it wouldn't have happened if women okay. haven't stood up in well, the suffragist movement and fought Well, the for reason it. I bring that up is because you said women and minorities fought for that right, not white yes. men. When the fact is women actually, as a majority, didn't fight for that right. Many of them fought against it. White men fought for that and were the ones who signed that into law. Because of women, they wouldn't have signed it into law if women hadn't made them sign it into law. But they didn't. The majority of women didn't want it. That's my point. And the reason they didn't want it, by the way, we'll move on from this, was because of the fact that voting came with the draft, mandatory bucket duty, responsibilities that were actually not bestowed upon women at that time, and they didn't want the right to vote because it would come with the same responsibilities. It's so women got the right to vote, but they didn't have to be a part of the draft or mandatory bucket duty, mandatory firefighting service. So historically, I'm just saying that's actually... It's not really accurate. It paints an inaccurate picture. I, I love this quote right here, which says, When a man earns money, he dreams of giving his woman the best. But when a woman earns money, she feels she doesn't need a man. But that's all I got in this video. You guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about what some of these feminist women had to say. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.